Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your weekly reading for oh May 7th through the 15th. Okay, this is for the second week of May, a little bit into the third week. This is for the sign of Capricorn. I want you to take what resonates and leave the rest. We, you know, I almost forgot my oracle decks. I can't remember which one we used before. We're going to use these. We're going to get one of each of these and we will reveal it at the end. Unless it flips over. If it flips over, then you'll get to see it now. Capricorn, May 7th through the 15th. What do they need to know? Generally, my readings are love readings, so, you know, take it how it is. Um, if you're looking for a quick reading, you can contact me via Instago if you have an Apple iPhone. Otherwise, uh, the information on how to book a reading is below. But, you know, you have to do what, the $50 or the $90. Um, I'll take that one. Oh, we had a flyer. We'll definitely take it. Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? Ooh, liberation, personal freedom. That's what it is. It's a time of personal freedom. Use it to your advantage. <laughs> Stand firm in your decisions. Be open to look at thing, looking at things from a new exp new perspective. Okay, I feel like things could be really intense right now because you're feeling this freedom. You're feeling this liberation. You may be feeling extremely independent. Okay, um, decisive as well. You're clinging to something, though. You're holding on to something. There's an obsession here. This could be greed, obsession, resisting a change. And that's why this came out. You know, sometimes when you go through a period of personal freedom, something has changed and left you free. You have to look at things from a new perspective. Okay? You can't stop growth. And that, I mean, you, you, you can't. You may be trying to stop the growth within you, okay? Because you don't want to resist this change. Growth is needed throughout our lives. Be open to change, okay? Be open to it because you're just gonna you're just gonna halt it. You're not. It's gonna happen whether you like it or not. So don't fight it. It will make it much worse if you fight the growth. If you fight the change, don't fight the change. Okay, this is a time of personal freedom where you have the ability to change your life. All right, you're, you know, <laughs> you know, it feels like you're trying too hard. You're pushing too fast. And you may be even stepping on other people's toes not knowing it. Be careful not to assume things, okay? You have to be open to other people's perspectives as well, okay? Oh, goodness. There's some mild conflicts here in your life, and I think it has to do with, with your stance. You may think that it's, you know it all, and I'm sorry to say this. None of us knows it all. You could be dealing with a person that's a know-it-all, okay? Either, you, know? And, you know, nobody wants to hear what I'm saying. But we all go through that when we go through situations, every single one of us, I am a Capricorn moon, where we think that we know more than the other person. Just keep that in mind. That's all I'm trying to say. Try to put yourself into another person, the person, whoever it is that you're dealing with, step into their reality for a minute. Be open to what they know. This is look at things from a new perspective. This is you, you may think you know it all. That's why, where, I, where I'm coming with this. Be open to looking at a situation from somebody else's perspective. Okay? Just, just do it. Oh. 
there's a, there's discouragement. There's a lot loss of faith, faith in insecurity here. Somebody's feeling really insecure, like I've lost all hope. And that's why this card is here. You have to keep your head held high. And look, like I said, that new perspective is going to be the theme of this reading. I know that it is. You have to be open to change. And I know being a Capricorn, that's not easy. You like consistency, not change. I don't, Capricorns do not like change. And you, there's a change going on, whether you like it or not. And the more you fight it, the more it's going to hurt. You might have to work as a team with somebody. You might have to make some compromises and you're definitely going to have to communicate. Working together is a must. A must. You can't do everything on your own, Capricorn. I know you think you can. That's one of those know-it-all stances. And like I said, I'm Capricorn Moon. I don't need anybody. I can do it on my own. That's bullshit. Because who wants to be alone forever? Togetherness is wanted. But if you keep resisting change and looking at things from a new perspective, then you're going to continue to have no growth and have no passion in your life. There's no wish fulfillment, no passion, because you will not budge and change. You have to let go. You ha This card in reverse, feel free to look it up. If you don't believe me, it's about making a conscious change. That is the meaning of this card in reverse. It's about freedom to make a conscious change. Capricorn, you need to make, you need to change something. There's no doubt about it. I'm here. I'm with you. I, I must need to change something too. There comes a time in our life where we have to change as we evolve and we age and we get wiser and we, we go through different things that make us change. If we resist this change, we will continue to suffer until we stop resisting. There will be no passion. There will be no growth. There will be no excitement. There will be no adventure. There will be no hope. There will be no inspiration until somebody makes a conscious change to free themselves from something. Both of these cards are freedom. They are. Your balance awaits. Balance in life awaits. If you are open to change. And looking at things through new eyes. And really making a change. Not just a little change either. Big changes. And if you're saying to me, Hell no, I'm not changing nothing. Then fine. And fine. You know, that that's your that's your own prerogative. There will continue to be losses. There will continue to be imbalance. Things will be a mess. Change is needed. Twos are about change. This one is reversed. You will continue to suffer emotionally. This is about emotional loss. Regrets. Why focus on the loss when you have new other opportunities waiting for you? Why let the past losses, the past hurts, the past rejections... stay on your back you're you're letting that baggage hold you back drop that shit drop it so that you can have the the new beginning that you deserve Wherever you're at, there's no victory and success in your life. 
because you're being dishonest with yourself. You're blocking communication. Nobody wants to be around somebody who doesn't want to communicate. If refusing to see the truth, being dishonest, no victory and success. There's a lack of confidence. There's a lack of self-esteem here. Somebody is refusing to see the truth even though they see the truth. Okay, that's what you know what I'm trying to say here. I see the truth, but I don't want to hear it. I don't want to see it. I know it, but I don't want to know it. You may be going through a period of emotional coldness right now. Feeling very cold and dead and hardened on the inside. And I know that you've been taken advantage of recently, but it's time to free yourself from that. It's time. So that you can move on. Just drop it. Drop that baggage like a hot freaking potato. It's time to start anew. It's time to stand up for yourself. Don't be vindictive and resentful and bitter. Be open to new possibilities because there is a new opportunity if you would only see it. But if you continue to be resentful and bitter because you were taken advantage of, you will continue to suffer and feel emotionally cold on the inside. You need to you need to let go let down your emotional guard. Okay? You need to let go of the resentment. You need to not let the fears and the worry and the anxiety and the stress hold you back. You have the opportunity right now to free yourself with the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords reversed. These are both freedom cards. You can free yourself from this mental trap, the mental, 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 that you are in at any mental. It's all mental. It's mind over matter. Mind over matter, Capricorn. Whenever you are ready to start anew, the opportunity is here. But this is the week where you actually decide to take that step to free yourself from this mental trap of resentment and hate and coldness. Somebody took advantage of you. Somebody hurt you. Somebody used you. Karma to them. Right now, they're still winning because you're, le they're, you're letting them hold you back. They are still in control because you're not moving forward. You're still hateful. And if you're still hateful, they're still winning. Take back your power. Take back your control. Hold your head up high and don't let them win. And you don't let them win by moving on. By being happy again. Oh, son of a bitch. You know those are my favorite words. Oh. Self-sabotage. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. And this does involve a wedding. Many of you have gone through a situation where there's there's been a divorce. and that, Or there's going to be, you know. I'm sorry. Or there could be a wedding coming up. It could go either way. You know, maybe there's somebody wants to marry you, but you're too scared. That could be the case. Or you've been married. And this, you know, I do this for a living. A lot of you um, have gone through a divorce and been taken advantage of severely. So, um, you know, that's part of it. Some of you are being, you know, asked to get married and you're too scared to do it. Could go both ways. There's an opportunity here. For a new beginning if you would stop sabotaging yourself. When you learn to get out of your own way, there will be no stopping you. Most of the time, it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals. It's that inner voice that derail, derails those carefully woven plans. We already talked about this. You're sabotaging your own happiness. Stop. Stop. 